Hello, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to submit service records online using the Google Form. The idea behind this form is to make it as easy as possible for clubs to submit their service activities online and on a regular basis. We encourage clubs to enter their service activities once a month, for example at the club meetings, rather than leaving it all to the month of May. So the Google Form can be accessed through the Inner Wheel New Zealand website. However, you will have to be logged into your own personal account in order to view the page. So a good way to check whether you're logged into your personal account is whether you see this library tab here, or if you click on the little person icon in the top right corner, whether your name appears in the box that's displayed. So once you're logged into your account, you'll just hover on the library tab, then on the resources section, and then on the club tools page. Once you're on the club tools page, you can scroll down or click the link to the service records section, and then you'll just click on the IWNZ service records form online. Then the Google form will be displayed. If you're not yet logged into a Google account, instead of seeing this form, what you'll see is a Google login page where you'll just have to enter your credentials in order to log into your account and then see this page. A very important note is that you do have to be logged into your iwnz.org.nz account in order to be able to submit this form. If you're not logged into an IWNZ Google account, you'll see this page here. What we just have to do now is to log into the Inner Wheel New Zealand Google account. So to do that, you can just open a new tab and navigate to gmail or google.com. You'll just click on the little circle icon here. Uh, it'll either have your picture or just a letter in it. And if you see the Inner Wheel New Zealand account listed here, you can just log into it. Otherwise, you can just add another account here and follow the instructions on the website to add a Google account. Once you've successfully logged into the Inner Wheel New Zealand Google account, you'll just navigate back to that first tab with the error message and just refresh that tab. The online service record entry form should then appear. We ask that you please use your club Google accounts whenever you fill out this form as it will make things easier for us when we put together the service records at the end of the year. So once you're logged into your club Google account, you're all set and ready to submit your service records online. So at the top of the form, we have some guidelines just to help you with filling out this form. In this video, I'm going to go over three examples of activities or projects that are often performed by clubs. The first one will be a donation. So for example, if my club has donated $500 to the Cancer Society, I first select my club as well as the district, after that, the charity information, well, we're donating to the Cancer Society. Brief details of activity. So this will be a donation from the charity account. This is not an ongoing activity or project, so I can ignore this section here. The type of projects, this is a club project. For the service categories, we've included a brief summary of the different service categories at the top here. So for this example, I'm going to be selecting status of women. Volunteer hours spent, this doesn't apply to donation. Neither does the number of recipients, the value of goods donated, nor the total value that it was raised or donated less expenses incurred. So the only field we're gonna be filling out is this last one here. So the total dollar amount donated, which was $500. After that, we'll click the submit button and a copy of this submission is automatically sent to the email address that you're logged in with, so you can keep that copy for your own records. If, once you've submitted, you realize you made a mistake, we actually donated $550. It's not a problem, you can just click the link here, edit your response, and it'll just show you the response you just submitted, and then you can scroll down to the field that you need to update. Update $550 and click the submit button again. The next example will be a general fundraiser. So again, we'll start off by selecting our club as well as our district. And the charity information, since this is the fundraiser, we're just gonna select general fundraiser. So here we have the instruction to select none as the service category below. So I'll go over that in a little bit. Here, let's say our fundraiser was a movie night that was hosted to raise money. 
It is not an ongoing activity, so we can ignore this field. The club held this project. And here for the service categories, we're going to select none. So this option should be selected for general fundraisers or for projects that involve multiple charities only. Now let's say our members spent 10 hours setting this up. Number of recipients doesn't apply, neither does the value of goods donated. However, this field here, the total dollar value raised less any expenses incurred does apply in this example. So let's say we raised um, $700, but we had $200 in fees. That leaves us with $500 that was raised. And the total amount donated is also $500. And we'll submit that one. For the last example, I'm going to go over an ongoing project. So let's say my club has been knitting for the neonatal unit at our local hospital. So again, we start off selecting our club, the district, and here for the charity information, since our local hospital is not included in this list here, we're going to select the other option and add it in ourselves. So I'll add in the neonatal care unit at the Auckland Hospital. In the brief details of activity, I'll add knitting. We'll say we were knitting some hats. And in this case, it is an ongoing project, so I will tick off the yes box. A few notes for ongoing projects. We ask that you please use the same charity information, charity name, as well as the same details of activity for the same projects that are ongoing. So for example, every time that I'm submitting an entry for knitting for the neonatal care unit at Auckland Hospital, I will be using this charity information or charity name, as well as these details of activity. This just makes it a lot easier for us to consolidate at the end of the year. The other note is that you will have to put in one entry per charity. So let's say my club does knitting for the Auckland Hospital, for the Women's Refuge, as well as for the Salvation Army. The knitting for these three separate charities will have to be three separate entries. All right, and so this is also a club project. And in the service categories, I'll select rights of children. The volunteer hours spent, an important note here is that this is the number of hours spent since the last entry. So for example, if this is my second entry for knitting for the Auckland Hospital, I'm going to enter the number of hours that members in my club have spent knitting for the Auckland Hospital since my last entry. So let's say that was 30 hours that have been spent and we made eight hats. Eight hats, let's say at $5 each, so that's $40 in goods donated. We can ignore this field here. And finally, the total dollar amount donated will be $40 and we'll click submit. And that's it for the three examples of service records submitted online. A reminder that we ask clubs to use their club Google accounts in order to submit this form and that we encourage you to submit your service records monthly, for example, at your club meeting.